Hello everyone and welcome back to these sessions on strategic financial management. Now in this class of strategic financial management, we will be continuing with the topic derivatives. But uh, within the topic derivatives, let's open a new subtopic that will be options strategies. So one humble request to all of you, make sure that you are watching these lectures after you have completed everything else within options because uh, options basics options payoff options valuation if all those things are clear then you can go for having a great command over options strategies now this is basically the application part of options contract how do you use options to your best advantage in the markets and this is something that has a direct real life connect. So this particular topic option strategies is what we are going to focus. What I have displayed in front of you on screen is the study material for CMA final students 2022 syllabus. And I'll be going exactly as per this particular syllabus requirement. So let us uh, begin with what we call as options strategies. So fundamentally what are option strategies? This is basically application of options contract. You make different kind of combinations of options contracts and through this combination you try to create an advantage. We will create a strategy and we will observe the implication of that strategy or rather I would say the outcome of that particular strategy in terms of what happens when the prices move up or when the prices fall down, what will be the best case scenario, what will be the worst case scenario, what strategy is good to make profit at what kind of situation, which are protective strategies which can create a hedge position and which are strategies that can provide opportunities. So this is going to be a big discussion and therefore what I have done is I have broken up this whole thing into various parts for your convenience so that one part at a time you focus and try to understand that will be the best for you. So let us first observe the structure which they have very clearly given in the form of this chart. As you can see option strategies they have classified the main discussion into two categories elementary strategies and combinations. So if I focus on elementary strategies long call long put short call short put holding a call option simply is what we call as long call holding a put option simply is what we call as long put because you are buying a call or you are buying a put you are buying something that means you have created a long position that is what we call as long call holding a call option long put holding a put option when it comes to short short call or short put you are the writer of the option you have written a call or a put option and therefore you are selling the option over there so you are option seller where we call this as short call or short put now if i go into little more details about these if you can recollect within options basics we have covered extensive questions on all these four strategies holding a call holding a put writing a call writing a put so what is typically the meaning of long call you hold an option or you own an option or you have an option where as per that option you have the right to buy the underlying if that underlying is a share you have the right to buy that share at the exercise price exercise price is the contract price in options you know it very well i am not going back to the option basics you have learnt it very well so focus on one thing holding a call option is what we call as long call impact of a long call would be what eventually if this option is exercised you will end up buying the share or if it is not for actual buying and selling you will 
get some payoff by holding a call holding a call you don't have to pay anything as a settlement at the time of settlement because you have already paid the premium if you don't want to buy the share actually if the settlement happens exactly as per the derivative market mode that is the settlement on the net differential then holding a long call in other words having a call option in your hand as a holder which we can simply call as a long call will give you a position of making a profit when the share price is moving up likewise long put can give you a position of making money when the price of the underlying falls down now making short call and short put means you are a call or a put writer it will give you instant inflow in the form of premium or the price of that option but on settlement you don't receive anything instead you will have to pay something if the counterparty is exercising the option you know it very well so holding long call and long put these strategies will always be kind of protective strategies where what is the limit of your loss is defined limit of your loss is restricted to the amount of premium that you have paid your loss cannot go beyond that however if it is a short call and short put we have seen in the basics of options chapter what could be the outcome when you are writing a call or writing a put option so i am not going to give any more further emphasis on this part which is elementary strategies let us focus on the combinations now now see combinations they have classified into two parts one is stock and options combination where you are combining stock position and options this kind of combination particularly there are two elementary strategies over here covered call and protective put protective put is my favorite one in fact uh, the best strategy in this segment what i consider is the protective put covered call and other forms i generally don't want it for myself ever so protective put is a great strategy however from your examination view point you will have to prepare all the strategies of course from examination view point you cannot skip anything so uh, what i am going to do as i said i am going to create multiple parts of this whole discussion on option strategies in the next part what i'll do is i'll cover mainly this segment okay that will be a discussion on a uh, covered call just a moment yeah it will be a discussion on covered call along with its example yet in the next part it will be discussion on protective put along with its example and then in the next part i'll cover up these two quickly because both of these are just reversal of the first two strategies in other words if you have completed covered call you will understand this part easily because it is just a reverse strategy if you understand the protective put you will understand this part easily because it is reversal of protective put now what we can do is once we have completed that we then move to the more interesting part that is options and options combination where we are going to deal with spread strategies and other strategies particularly spread and i generally call these as non spread strategies you may call it other strategies as well so this is the more interesting part of our chapter which links you to real life application of option strategies but uh, as i said let's not lose patience on this let's take it one step at a time let's discuss one thing at a time so in the next part stay tuned we are going to talk about covered call strategy